coach's mother wheels are turning. Oh shit, my daughter is in the neighborhood dope boy. Oh, taking it to the streets. Uh, uh, come on out here, baby. Come on out here, Winter. Your mama want to talk to you, baby. bugs hello there bellas if you have not already done so please remember to like share to facebook and subscribe because it is so important to our success here on the youtube and if you are not already a part of our bella book club please remember to hit the patreon link below and or the join button here on the youtube and for a small monthly five dollar fee you babies can be privy to all the shenanigans before the YouTube gets it, if the YouTube gets it. And plus, you know, like I said, YouTube is free, but the privileges to this book club cost you $5 at a minimum a month. Now, let's talk about um, The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. Part, I don't freaking know. You know why? Because we're at the last two videos. So this is the second to last video. Okay? I'm so ready. Okay, because we had a whole talk, the book club, or some of the members of the book club, we uh, decided what the next book was going to be, and I'm excited. Okay, but anyway, let's get into it. Right. As you know, I have been asking you all to follow me over there on um, Stereo, on the Stereo app. I put the link below in the description bar so that we can have open conversations about how we feel about the books that we choose. Okay, and I know a lot of us, okay, have uh, things that resonate with us in regards to the coldest winter ever, the mistakes she made, the ninjas she chose, her it, relationship with her mother and her father. We all can relate to winter. So where we left off, we have a Brooklyn project on fire. A Brooklyn project on fire. We don't know why it's not significant to, you know, the book, but that shit is on fire. The reason why Winter and um, Bullet is there is because Bullet came up with this grandiose plan. Yeah, Winter, we gonna use your credit card. My credit card, Bullet? What are you talking about? Yeah, your credit card, the one that you applied for, the one that came to the mailbox, but I got it. And we're going to use your credit card and we're going to use this other lady, probably a pipehead. We're going to use her driver's license because she's 26 years old, you know, and it's always better to rent a car with somebody that's 26 years on up because, I mean, for insurance, but she is in Brooklyn, but she didn't burnt a lot of bridges in Bur Brooklyn, okay? You still got that Simone that want to whoop her ass and you still got that Natalie that want to whoop her ass. So Bullet like, okay, you want to be a gangster bitch. Here you go. And hands her old pistol. Now, the fire marshal had came to the car and said, look, ma'am, you in the fire lane. You need to move over there, out of the fire lane. Can't you see the, the projects is on fire? She throws the pistol under her seat and then hops in the driver's side and moves it around, okay? Now, while she in the car behind the tinted windows, she's looking at all the people because, you know, she want to be on the offense instead of defense, or if it's the defense offense, whatever that is, right? But she want to check it out and make sure she can see everybody in anything because remember, she didn't burn a whole lot of bridges over there in them Brooklyn projects that's on fire. Okay. Eventually, she spots her mother. Her mother can't see her in the Lexus because she's behind tinted glass, right? Now, Winter is feeling all kinds of shame because, you know, her mother is currently a pipehead and doing pipehead things. When you the know? mother... Looks up, she sees Bullet's car. Oh my God, Bullet is back. Oh, taking it to the street. Cause you know, Bullet serves her mother. In fact, y'all remember when Bullet told Winter to serve, go here, take this rock, go get rid of this pipe here right here. She annoying, get rid of it. And Winter knew that that was her mother. 
Okay? Her mother runs over to the car, put her face up to the window. Bullet! Bullet! You got something for me? Bullet! Okay? Now, Winter, down in the seat like this. But her mother seen her anyway. Is that my baby, Winter? Is that my baby, Winter? Ugh. Oh, girl. Yes, you saw me. Oh, God, my mama got to be a whitehead. No, bitch. Why your boyfriend got to be the damn crack dealer to sell it to her? She says, Winter, come outside right now and talk to your mother. You know, trying to be stern, because you know, even though they be pipe heads, they still be your mammy. Okay, and you still got to obey them. Yeah, you know, if you have any type of integrity about yourself, even if your mother is still on kind of drugs or alcoholism, they're still your parent, you still want to respect her. Shortly, real shortly, after her mother recognizes her, she looks up and she sees Bullet coming, okay? Winter's mother is looking like, Winter, get out here and hug your mother. Oh, you're looking real good. Let me find out my baby is hunching on that dope dealer dick. Winter's oh. mother, wheels are turning. Oh, shit, my daughter is fucking the neighborhood dope boy. Oh, taking it to the streets. Uh, uh, come on out here, baby. Come on out here, Winter. Your mama want to talk to you, baby. Winter still did not move. Bullet steady coming, okay? She goes inside of her purse. I know what to make you come out. Mm, mm, mm. I got some lettuce for you. From your pappy. From your pappy. Now, instantaneously, bullet did not become the most important thing in the world to her. Okay? What became most important to her was them letters from her father. Okay? Because she needed to talk to her father. Remember? She was supposed to go see her dad that day that them damn dogs was trying to eat her up in the house. Bullet is approaching the car, okay? Grabs her mother, flung her out the way. Ah! 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 Hold on, time out, time out. So, Winter, you let that nigga put his hands on your mother? Okay, let me go back, let me go back, okay. <laughs> Winter, don't you want these letters, baby? Don't you want these letters? What you gonna give me? What you gonna give me, bullet? What you gonna give me? What you gonna give me? I got you. What you gonna give me? Winter, tell him give me something, baby. Tell him, don't you want these letters? Don't you want these letters, baby? <laughs> now, Winter's mother is taunting her. Winter gets so pissed that she jumped out the car and lunges at her mother. They both fall on the ground. Now, Bullet picks Winter up and pulls her in the air. Ooh, I was kind of turned on about that part, y'all. I can't even lie. When she said that she was on top of her mother, you know, scratching and creeping to get them damn letters, Bullet grabbed her, picked her up into the air, and said, get your ass in the rental car. Put her back down on the ground. Oh, there's something about somebody that could pick you up. There. Ooh, you know what I'm talking about. Not that I'm, you know, like, ooh, yeah, you know, do the, uh, what was that movie that, the baby boy movie? Remember when Ving Rhames uh, was doing the Leon the Lover on that lady? Do any of y'all know who Leon the Lover is? Leon the Lover from Penitentiary? Leon Isaac Kennedy. Oh, Leon the lover. Leon the lover. Leon the lover. Google it. Now, after he picks Winter up in the air and it puts her down on the ground and demands that she go get her in the rental car, at the same time, he passes her mammy a 10 and say, go get what you need from somewhere else. But Winter has those letters in her hand, okay, or in her possession. Okay, now, once the mama got that $10, her ass got missing. I, I mean, you can't expect for a pipehead to do nothing but be a pipehead. Okay, I got the $10, I'm, on, I'm ready. Okay, and now we got the rock. Okay, the dogs is already back in the kennel. Okay, so they ain't gonna travel with the dogs. But he takes the teddy bears full of, you know, whatever it is they have and put them in the rental car. Okay, winters, I mean... Bullet's man is coming up to come pick up the Lexus because remember, they're not driving the Lexus out of town to Baltimore. 
to do whatever, you know, vig they got going on. They're taking the rental, the La Saba. Winter says, don't forget to get the pistol in the Lexus from up out of underneath the seat, okay? Now, the reason why the pistol was significant to the ride to Baltimore was because Bullet knew that he was going to need some heat just in case some shit went bad, okay? And he had took all his guns out of the Lexus and put them in the car right when he put the goddamn on teddy bears full of whatever it was in there. You know, I don't know what was in them teddy bears. That's not my job to know, okay? But he needed to have them teddy bears and all his guns just in case something happened. So he said, oh, okay, hold on. And he kind of trotted behind the Lexus, called out to his man, hey, 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 hold up, hold up. As soon as she turned around to check the other side of her, a rock hit the window or a brick hit the window, the passenger side window, and busted that joint. Who was it? That goddamn Simone. She back for action, okay? Simone came to the car, pulled the car door open. They scuffling. You heard me? I mean scuffling. That goddamn Natalie over there churning on. Kick her ass, Simone. Kick her ass. Whoop her ass. Cut her, Simone. Cut her ass. They down there scuffling. Winter is fighting for her life. She whooping ass, though, according to the book. She whooping ass, right? And then I guess Simone felt like she wasn't, you know winning so she reached over picked up a dirty bottle cracked that joint held it up in the air now right before simone made another move because it's right here it's up in the air bullet comes back pop 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 up in the air everybody dispersed except for the skirt the people that ain't scurry okay me pop 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 me either get down or get the fuck winter feeling like yeah my man run this shit yeah so she all off guard simone came down and split her face open she said she touched her face and it felt hot i mean blood is hot it's hot she said she felt her face cut open let me tell you something that's what they do when you pretty the first thing they try to do is do something to your face you won't be pretty no more bitch so by the time bullet gets over to his girlfriend she sitting there on the damn ground, bleeding, face open. He picks her up, put her inside the passenger seat and say, oh baby, damn baby, damn, that damn it is over. Mm -mm, mm -mm. If you think I was fucking over you before, now I'm really gonna fuck over you. All of a sudden now, the demon lights is coming. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, bullet, close the door, and walked over to the other side to get in the driver's seat, okay? Before she knew it, the police was right there on her neck because she was trying to get out of the car. When she noticed that Bullet wasn't going over to the driver's side to drive, Bullet Bullet was walking over to the driver's side to walk past the driver's side to walk down the street back into one of those buildings. He left her ass sitting there bleeding with her face cut wide open, okay? And the police was right here. You heard me. They was right here. She couldn't go nowhere. Now, let's reflect on what's in that damn car with her, okay? A bag of pistols and three or two teddy bears. I forgot. Y'all know I do edibles with a whole bunch of we don't know in it. What Winter said was that when she was in the holding cell that night, she still had the letters on her. Remember the letters that her father had written her that she had snatched from her mother? Okay, when they was down there on the ground, you know, tussling and turning like glow. Okay, she still had those letters. And what blew her mind was what she read in those letters.
not already done so, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because it is so important to our success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this, the same people that you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. My naysayers, my patron loves you babies. Have a good one. Peace.